Are you wondering if your rabbits need hay and exactly what kind of hay you should be feeding them? That's what I'm going to talk about in today's video, get it all cleared up for you. Hey guys, welcome back to another Slightly Redneck video. Again, my name is Chris. If you're not familiar with this channel, I help you to produce your own meat, eggs, and vegetables from your backyard, your balcony, your deck, your garage, or heck, even a spare room in your house if that's the way you want to do it. Today we're talking about hay in your rabbit's diet and whether it's really necessary or not. Um, really, it kind of depends on a couple of things. Foremost, what is your rabbit's primary diet? Now, if you're not feeding your rabbits uh, fodder or grass or greens or those kinds of things, if you're feeding them primarily a commercial rabbit pellet diet, then yes, hay is a necessity in their diet. And there's a couple of reasons for that. The biggest one is they need the extra fiber that's provided by the hay to help their systems fluctuate, to help flush everything out of their system. So if you start seeing a lot of um, hair blockage in their droppings where it's sticking to the cage and you've got big strings of hair, those kinds of things, that can be a sign of a lack of fiber. It's not always a lack of fiber causing that, but that can be a sign of that. And that may mean you need to add more hay to your rabbit's diet. It's a little bit easier for them to digest so if you have rabbits that are having um, any kind of stomach problems, if they're, um, you know, diarrhea, any of those kinds of things, you should put them on an all hay diet for a little while to let them clean their system out. Hay is incredibly important for the digestive system, that long stem fiber. Now again, let's talk about hay versus straw. Straw is not what you want to feed your rabbits. Straw is, is taken after the uh, the seeds have or after the flowers have gone to seed on whatever it is whatever kind of hay it is hay is taken before all that stuff has gone to seed so it's still got the flower the seed all that kind of stuff in it and that's where a lot of the nutrition is going to come in they don't want to eat the dead um, sticky straw they want to eat the the uh, nice green hay um, and even if it's dried it's still got all those seed heads and all that kind of stuff still stored within the hay and all the nutrition with it. Now as far as what kind of hay you want to feed your rabbit, there's all kinds of talk about that and really it doesn't matter that much. Um, I do tend to stick more with a timothy or an orchard grass hay. Um, basically there's a couple of different types of hay you're going to find on a regular basis. There's timothy hay, there's orchard grass hay, which is just kind of a mix of all kinds of different things. Um, and then there's alfalfa hay, which is primarily alfalfa, of course. Uh, rabbit pellets, if you're feeding your rabbits a, a diet of pellets, are primarily alfalfa already. So I think it's best to stick with like a timothy or an orchard grass hay. And you don't have to worry about how much you're feeding your rabbits. Just keep their hay feeders full all the time. Let them eat as much hay as they want to. They won't overfeed themselves on hay. Let me take you in real close. I'll show you my hay feeder setup if you've never seen it before and uh, just kind of how I give my rabbits hay. All right, this is the hay feeder that's on uh, my newest doe's cage. And it's just a piece of cage wire, and all it is is just cut out. Um, it was a square, and I just kind of cut it off at an angle. So I don't know if you can see this or not, but it angles down towards the cage, kind of forms like a, a triangle. Um, and I just stuff the hay down in here, and she'll pull it through the inside of the cage wire. Anything extra falls into the feeder down below, which let me adjust the camera and you'll be able to see. There we go. It sits right above the feeder, so we need the extra hay that she pulls out and drops, falls right into the hay uh, to the uh, feeder itself and she'll end up cleaning that up a little bit later. These have worked pretty well for me. I end up filling them up about every two days probably they'll go through this and and clean it all out. But it's worked pretty well and it's cheap and easy. I just J clip it right onto the side. It just took one at the top, one at the bottom and uh, again it's flush there at the bottom. Let me adjust the camera again. There we go. Flush right there against the cage right there at the bottom so it angles out. I know it's kind of hard to see probably on camera, but that hay feeder has worked really, really well for me. All right, pretty simple topic to cover this week. Hopefully you guys got something out of this. Let me know your experience with that. If uh, you're doing something different, if you've got a different kind of hay feeder that's working well for you, if you found a different kind of hay that's worked really well for you guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, God bless.